Hey, welcome to the UFO Watchmen, and today I want to talk about something. It's the good and bad fruits of technology. And <clears throat> on June 19, 2008, a committee met to discuss possible technological advancements, genetic modification, and uh, bio-cybernetics problems we will face very soon, much sooner than a lot of people think, the ethics of these things, uh, you know, whether in genetics they might, you know, do weird stuff, like one of the topics was genetically enhanced superhumans, and this is a major historical occurrence in the earth. Uh, we may not remain the dominant intelligence uh, on this planet. If we add or take chromosomes from our humanity, uh, we, we, we're no longer human. We become something else. Uh, and when we must breed with uh, you know, the same amount of chromosomes, someone with the same amount. Uh, someone with 23 chromosomes couldn't mate with someone with 24 chromosomes. It's just a weird deal. Uh, it's just... <laughs> And take a look at this. Three, a group of these young supermen did seize power simultaneously in over 40 nations. Hardly supermen. They were aggressive, arrogant, and began to battle among themselves because the scientists overlooked one fact. Superior ability breeds superior ambition. Interesting if true. They created a group of Alexander. of the prophet Enoch uh, that in the days of Noah some entities came down from the sky called the Nephilim and, uh, and, and this was in Genesis they were called the sons of God. Enoch was the seventh generation of biblical Adam. Jared the sixth generation from Adam uh, he, he saw the dawning of the dark time because that's when the Nephilim arrived during the days of Jared when, when he was in, uh, of age. And uh, he saw the dawning of it and Enoch grew up witnessing all of this and God chose him. Uh, Enoch conversed with the Lord of the ages and uh, he was chosen to expose and pass judgment on these beings because they came down to earth 
uh, far as I understand, and altered our genes and taught us a lot of harmful things, introduced a lot of harmful things into our lives that, that we didn't need. And uh, <clears throat> they, they, they mated with our women and uh, produced giants, uh, abominations, and uh, that, that turned on the humans and caused a lot of havoc and, and, and used their uh, power to control us. You know, it just, the ugliness just kept going on, and that's, today it's like the days of Noah with, with all this genetic modification. It's just, it boggles the mind. But now I'd like to talk about the good fruits of technology and that, uh, which is coming up next, and that'll be uh, infrared uh, femtosecond laser, laser technology which uh, they're saying that could be a possible cure for HIV. So stay tuned. Hey, Mama. How you doing? Say something. Oh, I'm fine. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. better than the 4th of freaking July. Lightning! Cream man, he'll never give up. Well, I guess he does. 